talk to you a little bit about how we map the Earth. So in order to find our way around on this huge planet, uh, we have drawn some man-made lines. These lines don't really exist, it's just that they exist on maps so that we can find our way, plot our way on the planet. Other people could find us too. So I have here representation of the Earth and lines drawn of latitude and longitude. Latitude lines are horizontal and here's what I mean by horizontal. So kind of like a tabletop, flat. So the black lines on my Earth here are the lines of latitude. Longitudinal lines are drawn vertically, so these would be vertical lines, and those are in red. So vertical lines are lines of longitude. So here we have our most famous lines of latitude and longitude. Zero latitude is the equator, so we know that's the imaginary line that runs right through the planet. That would be the equator, zero degrees latitude. Zero degrees longitude is called the prime meridian, basically because when we started, uh, people in Britain and in Europe were the first ones to use this system, so they decided that they would make their home territory zero longitude. So zero longitude is the prime meridian, it runs through Britain. Uh, And here we have um, how they're measured. So the equator, latitude is zero, and lines of latitude go straight up until we reach 90 degrees at the North Pole. So the North Pole is 90 degrees north. That enables us to distinguish 90 degrees from this 90 degrees, which is 90 degrees south. So again, you'd start at zero and start measuring the lines equal distant down until you get to 90 degrees south, south pole. 90 degrees north, north pole. 90 degrees south, south pole. Extremely important to have the N and the S next to your number because without that you would have no idea if you were in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere. So how we measure longitude is a bit different. We have the prime meridian being zero. And the prime meridian goes halfway around the planet. So I'm going to go 10, 20, 30, 40 to 90. Then I'm going to go around the back of the planet and measure to 180. So this half of the planet is zero to 180 east. Again, essential that you have the east behind the 180 because without the east, we have no idea if you're on the eastern side of the planet or the western side of the planet. So then again, 180 west would start at the prime meridian. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then go all the way around the back until it's even with the zero at the, at the prime meridian. So here's just a little bit of practice. I have this line with both dots being my equator in red. I have this line with my green dots being the prime meridian. So I'm just going to find 40 degrees north and 70 degrees west. Okay, north and west, that's important. So I find my equator first and then I go up about 40 degrees. So that could be anywhere along this line, 40 degrees above the equator. However, aha, it says 70 west. Well then I need to go west of the prime meridian. This being the prime meridian, I need to go west. So uh, 70 west, I'm thinking is somewhere around here. It's very much an approximation. So but again, if you see north, go north of the equator. If you see west, you need to go west of the prime meridian. So this is probably somewhere around there. Second example, I have 34 south and 50 east. So I'm, I'm thinking south. I need to go south of the equator. So 10, 20, 30, say so around here, maybe 34 is about anywhere along the line here. However, I have 50 east. So I have to find that prime meridian and go 50 degrees east. So this location would be approximately somewhere here. So again, north is north of the equator, south would be south of the equator, west is west of the prime meridian, and east is east of the prime meridian. Definitely need the letters 
accompanying the number so that you know which portion of the planet you're in. For more information, you can always email me at rose underscore wignall at abss.k12.nc.us.